Hey guys, this is definitely a different video. I'm going to be talking about everything you already know because you saw the title. But I did vlog a little bit before this. I pretty much cut most of the vlog because I just wanted to get to the point. But I'll see you guys from where I started this morning. I have been so tired and for what? Like there's no reason to be tired right now. And I keep telling myself I'm going to go to bed early and then wake up early. And every time I plan to wake up early, I can't sleep. Like literally I'm in bed at 10 p.m. and I'm up till 3 a.m. Just staring at the ceiling or like tossing and turning and waking up or my cats start going crazy. I'm just so tired. I'm struggling. But I have my coffee. Hopefully this will help. It's almost lunchtime and hopefully I'll... I'll do better. I'm not sick. I know I'm not getting sick. I was just sick like two weeks ago. I'm not sick. But the good news is I just got a bunch of new Celsius. Y'all know that I've been obsessed with energy drinks since like, I don't know, 14. Like, it's really bad. But that's okay. One day it'll catch up with me, but not today. It is, oh, it's Friday. <laughs> and guess who didn't get enough sleep last night again? Me. I did rot away pretty much all day and took just a nice full rest day. Like from the moment I got off work, I think I was just in bed besides making dinner. I still got like eight hours of sleep, so I'm really not like, yeah, I'm fine. I feel very energized today, so I'm ready to take on the day. I have been feeling a little bit just in like a work slump. Just like, you know when it just hits you and you're like, wow, I have a job. Okay, nice. Every day, I have a job. Um, so, to try to help with that, and honestly, that might be why I was so tired this week, but I, after my last meeting and after I eat lunch, I'm gonna go work at a coffee shop and you guys can come with me. But first, we will get my morning work done, drink my coffee, then eat lunch. I forgot that I planned on doing this today, but for work, I sometimes have to like film videos or like take pictures of myself, stuff like that. Cause I run their social media, film reels, all that. So I think I actually am gonna get all that done before lunch, knock it out. So I don't have to do it next Monday. Kind of a lot of work on a Friday, but let's do it. Why not? I have energy today. I have so much energy. I went and did all my filming while I let this camera charge. I just ate lunch. I'm feeling good, ready to go to the coffee shop and then do my bar class after. But I'm just waiting on my next meeting and then I can go to the coffee shop. I haven't coffee shopped in so long. Um, mm, didn't think I was gonna cry. I just got off the call and I got fired. <laughs> this is like my fourth time crying because I've told like four people and like once I get into it, I'm not crying, but just saying it, I feel like a failure and like, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's a little overwhelming. So a little background information. I was a social media manager for a tech company and I worked fully remote for the last year and a half. Actually, I'm pretty sure today is my one and a half year anniversary of working at my job. They always told me that I was like one of their best employees. They loved me, I was a hard worker. I would get raises. I was always getting told that I got everything I needed to do done. I was always coming up with new ideas. And um, this was extremely unexpected. I didn't have any sort of like heads up. I didn't know this was coming, which you know, business is business, but I genuinely like had like an emotional connection to my job and the people at my job. Although I was remotely, I felt like they were kind of my friends. I loved my job, but um, but it's so weird because this whole week I have been so tired and anxious and I'm not normally like that. And I was like praying about it and trying to work through it and was like, what is this? Like, why? I'm relying on God. I don't know what's wrong. And I was not getting very much sleep, even though I was getting like, you know, seven to nine hours a night. I was waking up in the middle of the night, literally this whole last week. And I was feeling really overwhelmed by my job because basically to sum it up, I came up with this whole new social media strategy idea. 
and they basically just said that that's not what they wanted to do and so I I was really defeated over putting in a lot of work and then being told that they wanted to like be way more professional and I was like okay that's fine like it's your company I can do whatever and this doesn't have to do with me getting fired it's just like a personal thing and so after that I was like I just feel drained at my job like it went from kind of a startup to like a pretty professional environment it's it was getting more and more corporate which is the natural progression and that's fine but i was starting to feel really drained like literally that hasn't happened to me at work until this week i was feeling drained every time i got on work i was having dreams about getting fired literally in my dreams i would get on a call and they would say we just don't feel like social media is that big of a deal and we don't feel like we need a social media manager anymore we don't need video creation i was originally hired as a video content creator so i made a ton of videos for them and the last few months they've scaled back on it and as soon as they started scaling back i knew and i tried really hard to prove that i was still valuable i mean i put in so much like brain effort emotional everything but at the end of the day it's business i i can't be mad at them they're great people it's a great company i still think i have nothing bad to say about them or the company i totally understand it just sucks and like I was emotionally invested, like I said, and um, it's just a little scary. It's my first job. I know I'm still young. I'm turning 23 this month. I still have so much ahead of me. It's just a little scary losing your job, and my husband still has a full-time job and will be okay financially. We were just really used to having double income, and so it is going to be a little bit harder. And like telling people that I got let go feels like, I'm sorry, it just feels like I'm a failure. I know I'm not. They even told me when they fired me that they were like, it's nothing to do with you. It's just they wanted to reevaluate all of marketing. And um, about five months ago, they let go of like half of the marketing team. So I should have known it was coming. But they had talked to me after that and said that I shouldn't worry and they love me and i'm like one of their favorites and all that you know that kind of stuff and i never missed a deadline i never messed anything up i was constantly doing what i needed to do and they acknowledged that and told me that i did amazing and i killed it and they already wrote me reference letters and said that they would help me with anything they possibly could for um getting my next job but it just really sucks because i really liked working here and like being able to have the whole like work from home it was literally it was like too good to be true i made really good money i had really good benefits i had unlimited pto i got to work from home and it's just too good to be true like It's funny because I stopped doing YouTube because I wanted more stability in my life and having a corporate job and a stable paycheck and benefits was so good for me. It helped me so much to like be able to mentally recover from everything I was going through when I got the job. And it's just funny because I would be like, I don't know why people hate on 9 to 5. Um, it's so stable and then people who don't do nine to fives would remind me that you could get fired at any time so it's not that stable and here i am fired i hate saying fired because i feel like i did something wrong so i yeah i got let go so i am unemployed um there's obviously a lot of emotions because it's just overwhelming to get fired um i feel extremely blessed because i'm in a financial position that i have tons of savings my husband still has a good job we'll be okay we live in missouri so like yes inflation but it's not as bad here so i know i'll be okay i'm getting severance pay for a little bit so i'm not really as worried financially but i am a little obviously i'm obviously i'm a little worried but i'm just really trusting god like as soon as i heard like they were talking to me and i'm not even crying on like this call i was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i was even like smiling and i was like it's okay I get it. It's not like I can convince them to rehire me. So I'm just like, okay, I understand. Thank you. It was great working here. Got off the call. Um, and then I went over to my husband and just started crying because obviously it's an emotional thing. I'm, I'm crying right now. But other than like the, I, the way I view things is that there are the emotional responses and then there's like the real truth, like deep down what you really think and feel. There's going to be an emotional response to getting fired. Obviously it's, a lot but deep down i feel less anxious than i did yesterday i feel more at peace and i just know it's because god's got me covered god has a plan he always has a plan i know it's gonna be okay but 
Um, it's it's hard. I don't think I need to say that again. Like, it's just tough. It's tough luck over here, okay? I tend to deal with things with humor, so I'm now in my making jokes phase. I'm like going through all the, the phases currently on camera. I even almost recorded the call because I was just gonna like time lapse it like I do sometimes, just my face like this, and I forgot to hit record. And it's the call that I get fired on, so that's really great. Um, like I said, I feel like somehow I just knew this was coming. I think God was trying to let me know because like I said, I'd been waking up, not sleeping well, anxious, feeling lethargic about my job, feeling like just ugh about everything this week. And that's so unlike me recently. Like I haven't felt like that in so long. And then come to find out I got fired and it's just like weird. How did, it, how did I know that was gonna happen? Like, it's like I, I was literally having dreams about it. Okay, it's so weird. Um, but now that it happened, I feel less anxious because I was so anxious about what could happen. It's done. I feel less anxious now. And honestly, right now, I feel like I could literally run a marathon, conquer the world, start a business. Who knows? I feel like I could do anything. So to wrap this up, I have zero plans. This just happened one hour and 10 minutes ago. I don't want to look for jobs, at least until next week. I don't know what I'm going to do next. And I'm just going to take the weekend to chill. That's that. I'm officially unemployed and got fired from my very first corporate job. Let's go. Love my life. Okay, no, this is actually a good one. So here we are on my computer. I immediately was logged out, obviously, of Slack and my Gmail and everything. So this is all work stuff. I think, yep. So, ready? Ooh, this feels kind of good. Delete. And delete. Okay, that's mine. That's mine. This is all delete, 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 delete. All of this is a big fat delete. Slack, I can quit out of completely. I could actually delete. Um, okay, next step, I'm reviewing my severance document. <sighs> Let's see what it says. Well, I think I just finished everything that I had to do to be officially done with my job. Um, it's starting to like set in a little bit. Not liking it. Mm. If only I wasn't in a reading slump, then I could just read my worries away. I feel so awkward. Like, what do I do right now? <laughs> what do you mean I'm not going back to work on Monday? Sorry, what? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I did just find out I wasn't the only one fired today, which just adds to the it wasn't really a me thing, it was a corporate thing. Uh, two other people got fired who were like amazing. I'm like shocked they were fired, so that's crazy. And then I had a couple people who still work there message me on socials. I was just like, I'm so shocked, I'm so sorry, we'll miss you. Like the people I worked with were amazing, so it just really sucks. And then, um, talked to my parents and they were both like i'm so sorry obviously and everyone's just being really supportive which i appreciate it's just hard now i'm crying again <laughs> this is such a weird day like what and like i did a bunch of work this morning filming and stuff i did my makeup i did my hair so i could film and i went downstairs and i worked for a few hours on that so i could get ahead for the month and well i could have just slept in and done nothing and <sighs> but i did just think of something else that i can do <laughs> Um, let me find my drill. I think it's in here. Why is nothing ever where it's supposed to be? So this is where I film videos for work. Uh, and now I don't need this. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this room, but I can at least take down, I'm blocking it right now, but I have a neon sign of their logo behind me and I'm going to take that down. Oh, I don't know if I ever showed you guys. <laughs> now it doesn't matter, but... For the outfits I would wear during my work videos, I set up this whole like little closet system. I thought that was just so cute and fun. I don't know what I'm gonna use this room for, but maybe I'll film some videos in here. I don't know. I don't know, I'm trying not to panic. I literally feel like so useless right now. And I feel like every meme that's like, you're unemployed friend on a Tuesday, that's so me right now. And I'm feeling really weird about it. Bruh, I cannot get this freaking screw out of the wall. How did I even get these in? Okay, well, I just pulled that straight out of the wall. Well, I may as well make this into like something. Ow, I just stabbed myself. So why don't I make this look like a normal room? This is just like all my random equipment is in here. Should I put this desk against that wall or that wall? 
for that wall. I don't know, because I'm literally never going to come down here. There you go. Now you can at least, like, come in here. I'm never going to probably ever use this teleprompter again. So, um, I think I have a case for it. Let me go check my storage room. You know what I just realized the pro of this is? I'm married and in a happy relationship, but now I have an excuse to scream breakup songs. It's gonna hit. Done. Now I can at least open the door in here and not be like traumatized by just seeing my work set up. Looks like a normal room. I keep having such, such mixed emotions. Like, I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't have a job. And then I'm like, wait, what do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean I don't have a job? For the last year and a half, I've had stable income, stable job, every week, nine to five. You're telling me I could have like just chilled all Christmas? Like I could have, yes, okay, I did get all the money from December, January, but like if they would have just fired me before, I could have enjoyed time off. <sighs> like what do, you, what do you mean I don't have a job? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, okay, cool. I'm like low-key tempted to reorganize everything in here because like I walk in here and I'm like, oh, still have a job. There's my setup, but I also use that for like editing videos, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. Logan asked me if I wanted to go to the gym with him. I also have a bar class later today, so I want to cancel it all, but it might be good. I might just down a protein shake and do both. I am so toasty. I had to change into a shirt. I think I'm a little more stressed than I think I am. I will wrap up this video by just saying I know I'm gonna be okay and this job gave me a great work experience. They wrote me letters of recommendation so if I decide to go into a similar job next I have a great background to get into it and I definitely fully heartedly trust God's timing. I know that God's got me. Everything's gonna be okay and I really don't have anything to stress about. I'm gonna take it kind of one day at a time, I'm taking a little bit of time just to recover and recoup and figure out what my next steps are. But in the meantime, you'll probably see me posting a lot on YouTube because like literally what else am I gonna do all day? I'm gonna feel so bored. So the next video you guys see will probably be like first week being unemployed and we'll see what happens. <laughs> see you guys there.